and obsessed by the incredible complexity of the human immune system for the better part of a decade now. It began in university, where I was studying information design and was looking for a semester project, and the immune system seemed like a good idea. So I got a large pile of books about immunology and began digging in, but no matter how much I read, things just did not get less complicated. The more I learned, the more impossible it seemed to simplify the immune system, as every layer revealed more mechanisms, more exceptions, more complexity. And so a project that was supposed to last the spring took the summer and then the fall and the winter. The interactions of the parts of the immune system were too elegant, and the dance they danced was too beautiful to stop learning about them. This progress fundamentally changed how I experienced and felt about my body. When I got the flu, I could no longer just complain, but had to look at my body, touch my swollen lymph nodes, and visualize what my immune cells were doing right then, which part of the network was activated and how T-cells killed millions of intruders to protect me. When I cut myself while being careless in the forest, I felt gratitude for my macrophages, large immune cells hunting scared bacteria and ripping them into pieces to protect the open wound from infection. After taking a bite of the wrong granola bar and suffering an allergic shock while being rushed to the hospital, I thought about mast cells and IgE antibodies and how they had almost killed me in a misguided attempt to protect me from scary foodstuffs. When I was diagnosed with cancer at the age of 32 and had to undergo a couple of operations and then chemotherapy, my obsession with immunology became even more intense. One of the jobs of my immune system is to kill cancer. In this case, it had failed. But I somehow could not be angry or too upset, as I had learned how hard of a job this was for my immune cells and how hard cancer had to work to keep them in check. And as the chemo melted the cancer, my thoughts again went to my immune cells invading the dying tumours and eating them up one cell after another. Disease and sickness are scary and unsettling, and I've had plenty of that in my life. But knowing how my cells, my immune system, this integral and personal part of myself, defended the entity that is me, how it fought and died and healed and restored this body I inhabit, always gave me a lot of comfort. Learning about the immune system made my life better and more interesting, and it alleviated a lot of the anxiety that comes with being sick. Knowing about the immune system always put things in perspective. So, because of this positive effect and just because of the fun of learning and reading about the immune system, it became an ongoing hobby, as I eventually became a science communicator and explaining complex things became my purpose in life. About eight years ago, I started Kurzgesagt in a Nutshell, a YouTube channel dedicated to making information easy to understand and beautiful while trying to be as true to the science as possible. In early 2021, the Kurzgesagt team has grown to over 40 people working on this vision, while the channel has attracted over 14 million subscribers and reaches about 30 million viewers each month. So, if this large platform exists, why go through the horrible process of writing this book? Well, while some of our most successful videos have been about the immune system, it has always bugged me that I could not explore this wonderful topic in the depth it deserves. A 10-minute video is simply not the right medium for that. So this book is a way to turn my decade-long love affair with the immune system into something tangible that will hopefully be a helpful and entertaining way to learn about the stunning and beautiful complexity that makes it possible for you to survive each day. Unfortunately, the immune system is very complicated, although that is not strong enough a word. The immune system is complicated in the sense that climbing Mount Everest is a nice stroll through nature. It is intuitive, like reading the Chinese translation of the tax code of Germany is a fun Sunday afternoon. The immune system is the most complex biological system known to humanity other than the human brain. The bigger the immunology textbook you read, the more layers of detail start piling on, the more exceptions to rules appear, the more intricate the system becomes, the more specific it seems to be for every possible eventuality. Every single one of its many parts has multiple jobs and functions and areas of expertise that overlap and influence each other. Even if you